Mecha Phantom Beast. We got a very, very competitive budget Mecha Phantom Beast deck that can easily take on any of the top decks in the meta. Works out incredibly well with a few staples we throw in there. This deck is amazing. Uh, it just spams tokens on board, spams monsters on board, and it's a lot, very, very, a lot more underrated. Uh, very, very underrated than a lot of people think. Uh, very, very good deck. Works out incredibly. And friendly reminder, guys, do subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to show you guys right now a replay and the deck profile itself, how we turn this deck amazing. Shout out to Chester, I believe your name was, who donated for the deck uh, to, for us to break this deck. If you guys want me to break any deck of your choice, do let me know in the description. We take $20 deck requests. Uh, we break any deck of your choice on my PayPal. Now, subscribe and let's get straight into the video. We are doing this live right now in front of our live stream. We are going to turn this hand. It's not about, the, it's not about the, the board you put up. This deck does put up Azathoth every single first turn easily. Uh, but it's not just the Azathoth. The idea here is you put up the Azathoth with Mecha Phantom Beast easily. And then you it's just spam the board going second uh, to really OTK your opponent. Uh, this is a bu budget competitive build. So we, instead of playing Dangers, we played a lot of token spam cards, which help trigger your Mega Phantom Beast effects, such as Mega Raptor and other cards as well. Now you're going to see as we play on how the tokens simply just help a lot. Now Recycler, what, the, the Recycler and Mathematician, what they do, they're one card as a thought. So what they do is they send Mega Phantom Beast O-Line, which what O-Line does is uh, sp so when it gets sent to the Graveyard Special, a token. But it doesn't just do that. Then, since you just summoned the Recycler, so you summon a token, and then what O-Line also does, a secondary effect, which makes a lot of the Mega Phantom Beasts great, is you could banish it from the graveyard to normal summon and uh, Mega Phantom Beast again that turn. And now, what Raptor's effect is, is uh, you could, that's two effects. When a token is special summon to your side of the field, special another token. Which is why it has great uh, synergy with other token spammers. So we're going to summon a, to another, to one of what we play four or five token spammers, a uh, spell card is summoned out a token. So instead of this being a danger that's on board, it just summons out a free token, triggering the effect of Raptor to summon out another token. So now we have three tokens, a Recycler and a Raptor. Raptor's other effect is this uh, tribute a token to add any, any, oh, well, an accident right there, to add any Mega Phantom Beast from your deck to your hand. So at this point, you can add Tether Wolf, which what Tether Wolf does is normal summon a special a token. So as you see here, what they all do is just spam tokens. Spams lots of monster on board, which would help you going second to OTK, the Boral Sword plays, etc., etc., or to uh, when you're going first, or to Nightmare plays, the Boral Sword, whatever, or going first to go into uh, Azathoth extremely easily. Now, what we do here instead, I just want to show you what Tether Wolf was. What we do instead is get O Line, which we're going to discard O Line with o the Mermaid, which this deck has incredible synergy with Orca, simply because it can spam the board very, very easily. Like, and like Recycler is a one card Mermaid, Mathematician is a one card Mermaid, Tether Wolf is a one card Mermaid. There are so many one-card mermaids in this deck. And then when you discard the O-line from your hand with mermaid, you get even more pluses. So the synergy is actually really, really interesting and awesome. So we're going to add the O-line here and discard it with the mermaid when we should go into it. We're going to go into the Link Spider with the token and keep our monsters on board. You rather the monsters on board just because uh, you can go into Break Sword going second. Or you can go into uh, uh, Dark Rebellion going second. And just really OTK them into Oblivion. Because uh, the, the point here is not just, as, it's more so to OTK as well. Uh, you go Phoenix, you play double Phoenix, uh, to make sure you have, uh, so next is going second. After Azathoth, we're gonna have a Phoenix, we're gonna have a Cerberus, we're gonna have, and then you, you Dark, uh, Dark Rebellion, pop from Rusty, Break Sword, pop from Rusty, pop from Break Sword, pop, like, you so many pops, and you just OTK them. And you're gonna wanna send that. o -line, another thing to note here is o -line's, uh, effect to normal summon, again, is not a hard, is not a hard ones per turn. You can literally banish, uh, uh, this again whenever you if, let's say you had another uh mecha Phantom Beast card in your hand right now you could banish this again for a second time and no one summon again it's not a hard ones per turn which is pretty crazy you could extend a lot with this deck uh now you're gonna go uh, we're gonna fast forward this part simply because everyone knows the pk combo uh one little thing to note for this for some reason the pk trap was glitched and we do galatea search as well before but the pk trap glitched and just wouldn't uh, wouldn't come out uh we got to search before we did that we're doing this super fast, and right here, here it is where uh, the PK Trap just glitched, and it just wouldn't summon out on the field. So, imagine the PK Trap here. We use uh, Arcade Return. We get Tether Wolf, which is a fantastic follow-up. Like I said, just normal summon effect special, a token, and you can make it to 2,500 if you want to. Help for OTKs again. If you want, at this point, you could banish the 
old lion to summon out the tether wolf, but there's really no reason to do that. You'd rather just save for next turn. You can go on to like a Evil Storm Nightmare here if you want, on top of that as a thought, or a Karen Gorgon, but there's no reason because you're going to win anyways. So you're going to want to save as many cards as you had to win. Uh, so next, you simply just keep going. You're going to remember there is a trap card here on the field uh, the Rust with Rusty. Uh, it just glitched. For some reason, it wouldn't summon else. Rusty brought out the trap. Uh, so just imagine that's a trap. And then they went to redo her, obviously. And it's not a single, obviously, XYZ. But the trap just got glitched from the deck. It wouldn't go on the field. And, and yeah, so you just want to go into your eyes of thought, redo her effect, and now there you go. You have an eyes of thought, uh, rusty pop, and they're not going to be able to play from that, right? But that's not what really wins a duel. You have eyes of thought so they can't play, but now it's more so to OTK them. Now, on your turn, you got Tyler Wolf is going to summon two two cards. You got double token. The Tyler Wolf is going to be an extra Nomo. So you have your Nomo summon already. You're going to draw a card from that. You just keep going. Like, it just free pops. Uh, Dark Rebellion is going to get rid of monsters. Uh, Rust is going to pop. Like, uh, it just is really, really good. Obviously, it's not the best version of Orcus, but considering it's Mecha Phantom Beast, you're really utilizing the Mecha Phantom Beast engine to perfection. Uh, great, great, great synergy with the de with Orcus. We're now going to show you guys the deck profile, which is right over here. We play Triple Raptor, Triple Tyler Wolf, Triple O-Lion. They are both really, really good in the... Oh, they're all really, really good in this deck. Uh, for those who don't know, again, I'm going to re-explain re what they all do. Is uh, Reg Mega Raptor, what it does is when a token is special summoned to your field, special summon another token. So you play four token special summon cards, and Old Lion special out a token, and Tyler Will brings out a token. So there's lots of different ways to bring out tokens. And when a token goes on board, uh, you get a free, an extra token. We're just going to help out a lot in terms of link climbing and just clearing a lot of the cards your opponent has and is winning. Uh, another thing to note as well is its secondary effect Mega Raptor is you can attribute a token to add a Mega Phantom Beast to your hand. So at that point, you can be able to add a Tether Wolf to your hand if you want a normal summon next turn for two monsters. Or you can add a O line if you want to disc if you need a, a discard card for a mermaid, which is going to give you a great effect for the following turn or the turn you need right now. And another one is Stealth Ray, which what Stealth Ray does is attribute a token to destroy a spell that trap your opponent controls. Which is really, really good. And the fact it's level 3 as well, as a follow-up, is going to help. Because if you want to add a follow-up with Mega Raptor, you add uh, the best follow-up, in my opinion, especially if you're, playing a back, if you're playing a backward deck, is Stealth Ray. Because what you're going to do is you're going to summon the Stealth Ray. You're going to go to a Break Sword because the Orcus combo is recycled as well. Orcus combo has amazing synergy with this deck. Bring out the Skeleton. Horus is going to bring out Skeleton. Skeleton and Stealth Ray. After Stealth Ray already popped a card. You're going to go with the Break Sword. And then Break Sword is going to... Uh, Rusty's going to pop a card because uh, Break Sword was summoned. And then Break Sword is going to pop a card. So if you added Stealth Ray with Raptor as a follow-up, uh, you're going to have three pops and you're going to OTK them into Oblivion. So the way these 10 cards work is amazing. And then lastly uh, is O-Line, which O-Line is the best card out of the 10. Uh, O-Line, when it gets sent to the graveyard, uh, you can special a token and you can banish it and immediately normal summon one of these 10. Which just has incredible synergy because you need to use your normal summon for Mathematician and Scrap Recycler because these six send O Lion. So Mathematician and Scrap Recycler are one card as a thoughts as well as Tyler Wolf. They're all nine. All nine of these are one card as a thoughts, but they aren't just one card as a thought. They're one card as a thought plus an extra normal summon, which the normal summon, normal summon the Raptor, normal summon the Tyler Wolf, which gives you more plusing, which is amazing. So these sixteen work out incredibly in this deck. Again, this is a budget version, so we don't play Dangers. I would play Dangers instead of the token card summons. Or the instant fusions, but uh, there's no reason to honestly. Uh, they just work out amazing. Like instead of those, you get a thousand hundred strict effect going second or first, you get a free card, or you get these these tokens to trigger all your cards that are better with tokens that have token effects. Uh, we play uh, guitar and uh, mics simply because they pendulums, so you had to, and also because their machines help out. Uh, everything in this deck is a machine. Orgus are machines. A lot of cool plays of summon sources as well to help out a lot of your plays. Uh, uh, you can also, one thing to note is Mike's give you another normal summon. So, because you have so many normal summons in the deck, if you were to draw a guitar, it doesn't just give you a free monster on board, but it also gives you a free normal summon. So, it can extend a lot. You can really extend a lot with this deck. All the Mega Phantom Beasts are a win, so you play Terra Top and Taka Tombor. So, drawing Taka Tombor is not the worst. You can you typically just summon it for free anyways. And, uh, yeah, it just works out really, really well, man. Even the tokens are wins. So even if you just uh, drew a mathematician or a, a recycler, wait a second. 
Oh, never mind. I thought the tribute card, the win part. No, that's only be tribute. So yeah, Target Town War Territory worked work great with this deck. Next to Orca's Engine, 2 1 1 1. Great is all you need. One boots, one orchestra return. We had thoughts about playing two orchestra return simply because Raptor can uh, uh, can give you a follow up. You can basically do the same thing on the following turn, but you don't need that. Instead of orchestra, you just OTK the rest into the oblivion. One upstart simply because this deck right now is just the best way to do it. You can play a fifth token, but if you're playing a budget version, you don't need dangers. There's lots of different, you can even play engages, Kagaris, but there's no re there are machines as well, but there's no reason to uh, uh, ditch out money if you don't have the cards when these cards typically do the same thing. A Foolish Burial, one of the best cards in the deck, can send O-Line or Orca's Engine whenever you want. Mathematician can also send the Orca's Engine, which is a very cool thing to know in case you're scared of hand traps. The deck just works amazing. Same with Recycler. Uh, so Recycler can also send uh, a Horror to the Graveyard. So Mathematician and Recycler have incredible synergy. Has an option of sending O-Line if you have another Mega Bond to be sent hand or be scared of a hand trap. Or you can send a, a Harp Horror and typically do the whole Orca's combo again. So Recycler and Mathematician have amazing synergy with this deck. Uh, with both Mega Phantom Beast and with Orcus. They're just amazing synergy. And again, you can't throw Orcus into every deck, but it just has amazing synergy with Mega Phantom Beast, so why would you not? And it's like, and it's just like, it's like the middle ground of all of them. You can use it for all of them, right? Instant Fusion, one of the best extenders, I think, because it's not just like, uh, uh, drones, like, it's not just a machine thing like that, Kagari, all that, but also going second is really good going second because you can clear an interruption and get a free card. And then we play four token generation cards. Which they're just special token. That's all that effect. Special and one token, period. That's it. Uh, in retrospect, you can play three Fiend Sanctuary, one Passcode if you want. Because Passcode is a hard one, but Sanctuary is not. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to do that. Just In general, just better. Uh, just in case you draw two. But you're not going to draw two uh, of your two of cards. And then one rank up, one bring in need. Make sure you get the combo up. Extra deck. One Mermaid, two Phoenix, one Cerberus. You want two Phoenix because the combo needs to go into a Phoenix anyways. And going second, you want a Phoenix and Cerberus them. And then before you OTK them, this is a budget version. So there's no Unicorn. But I would put Unicorn or Emperor Sword if you weren't trying to go budget. One Link Spider because all the tokens are normal, are effect monsters. Insulator, uh, just in case you need help for going to a Rusty. But it also helps because a lot of your cards are going to send our tokens. So it helps for Link 2 if you ever need. Now also an easy way to go to Boral Load if you need it. Uh, Galatea Summon Sword combo, Boral Load. Uh, you will play Boral Sword as well if you can. One Break Sword because it works really well with OTKs with uh, the level 3 uh, Mega Phantom Beast. And uh, XYZ, Rebellion XYZ Dragon as well. I would take this out for uh, Boral Sword if you can. But it still helps really well for the OTKs. Because Rusty is going to pop. And you're going to do 3750 damage. So it's super cool. And you have access to both 3s and 4s in this deck very, very easily. Uh, with Math Edition, Scribe Cycler, Mega Phantom Beast can search any 3 or 4. Or can search any 3 or 4. Like the synergy is really, really good with this deck, man. Uh, then, as I thought, uh, Redor, it's your turn one play, and then Restrict. So, uh, it, it works out really, really well, man. Something about this deck, it was really fun to play. Uh, we did a, lot, uh, a few solo duels with it, uh, test hands, but we could save that for the rest of the video, uh, another video. But overall, this deck worked out incredibly. I'm super proud of it. Thank you for donating for the deck. If you guys want me to bring any sound deck, let me know. I'll happily do it. This deck, as well as the Magic Monster deck, I've shown, uh, they both work out incredibly. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.